So I'm driving around town, listening to a bunch of fake news, like I usually do. And on the fake news, it said that four individuals from Cleveland broke into Bill Belichick's house with duct tape, rope, syringes, handcuffs, lubricant, and Vaseline. And after having their way, allegedly, with Bill Belichick, he granted them permission to have Jimmy Garoppolo now play for the Cleveland Browns. So Cleveland fans, rejoice. You got yourself a quarterback. Check it, uh, every day we're getting it, Hey, hey. check it, uh, uh, put the place up, yeah, we know what we made of, can't get enough for you, boo, I'm a chaser, face up. So everybody in Cleveland is happy, everybody's rejoicing, we trade Cody Kessler to the Patriots for Jimmy Garoppolo straight up, I mean, Bill Belichick, he had to be in just a, a uncomfortable situation, the situation had to be Pure uncomfortableness, if that's a word, for Bill Belichick, right? So the Browns do not have Jimmy G. Defense is still pretty pathetic, okay? Joe Hayden, you used to be good. Now he's 79 overall. Don't know what's going on there, all right? But, hey, we do have some positives. Not only do we have Jimmy G, but Coleman's healthy. Terrell Pryor's still on the team, and Josh Gordon is sober. Yeah, Josh Gordon is sober. This is my universe, and in my universe, there's no weed for him to fall victim to. That's right. He's going to be worried about his money and playing football for the Cleveland Browns. So he simulated the season, and Jimmy Garoppolo, he played pretty well. 30 TDs, 25 interceptions. I mean, not the best if he was playing for New England, but he playing for Cleveland. So we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. So now, I'm like, forget that. We are not just going to go with what Madden says, okay? No, this is my universe. Madden, EA Sports, y'all tripping. We make it to the playoffs because there was an article on NFL.com that said that somebody in New England's organization said that if the Browns had Jimmy Garoppolo, they would be a borderline playoff team. So we all know what borderline playoff team means. You go about 8-8, eight and 9-7, eight, and seven, but we Cleveland. So we talking about 6-10, and 7-9, possibly 8-8. Eight and eight. That's what I'm shooting for. So we strap it up on Sunday. We taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. We taking on those fly Eagles fly. That's who we taking on. They got a young quarterback in Carson Wentz. They got a pretty solid running back in Matthews. But I'm like, you know what? The Eagles ain't so tough. We can beat this team. So first play of the game for us on offense. And Jimmy G goes down. Second play on the game for offense. Jimmy G goes down. We'll force the punt. Hendricks, he's all types of excited, and y'all see that they score a field goal. But we got Coleman, he is good, healthy, and ready to go, and he has himself a quarterback. Got himself a quarterback, baby. You can keep most of the change. Keep the change. I just want a quarterback, baby. Anyways, man, we're going to find Correll out of the backfield on the screen pass. Picks up a big first down with inside the 20, but then we go, down. we get sacked. Jimmy G, like, this is my fault for even being here. I know. I know, because even LeBron going to leave in a minute or two. Anyways, though, man, it is a tie game, 3-3. We dropping back the pass going over the middle to my man Duke. Duke Johnson, but he does not pick up the first down, get smacked on his back, and Philly is now up 13-3. I think whoever was quoted by New England saying that this kid could get us to the playoffs was straight tripping. Straight tripping, straight lying to us, all right? We are down by 10 to the Philadelphia Eagles. To those Eagles, but we're coming back. Y'all see the drive he's putting together? It's magnificent. Look at him run. Look at him dive forward. He ain't sliding. He ain't got time to slide. He's trying to show that he's better than Brady. That's right. If he wins a Super Bowl with this team, Garoppolo is better than Brady. I said it. Mark my words. Anyways, man, we're going to find Terrell Pryor Sr. Makes a beautiful catch. Got us inside the five. Now we can go to him on the drag route. Gets into the end zone. And now it's a 13-10 ball game. Fast forward to the fourth quarter. We're going to find Barnage. Big time catch. Let's go. We're going right back to the big tight end. Let's go inside the 40. Inside the 30, 20. Gets bumped. Get bu he gets bumped out of bounds at the 20-yard line. So the drive of the stall game, kick a field goal, game is tied. But Carson Wentz has a minute 57 to do what he does. And he does what he does. So it's 20 to 13. Jimmy G, this is your moment. Jimmy G, come up clutch. Jimmy G going to take a shot deep, and that's not going to work. We have zero timeouts. 30 seconds on the clock. Going to go up top this time to Terrell Pryor. Can he make a catch? He had it and then lost it. We are just in a bad situation. Things are just not going our way. But then Jimmy G takes a shot deep to Terrell Pryor. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Browns. 
and the Browns come back in a major way. This game is going into overtime. Terrell Pryor with a beautiful catch. We are not letting him go. What was Cleveland thinking letting him go? Like, like, why did they let him go? They ain't got another receiver. I mean, Coleman's cool, but Josh Gordon's still not reinstated. They just tripping. They tripping. So anyways, man, we go three and out, but our defense gets a stop, and we're going to kick this field goal, and we're going to win the game. We're going to win the game. We beat Philly. We won and oh. Jimmy Garoppolo is undefeated as a Cleveland Browns quarterback. As a Cleveland Browns quarterback, he's undefeated. He is undefeated. I don't think Brady could do that. I don't think Brady could say that he's undefeated as a Cleveland Browns quarterback. So Jimmy G right now is better than Brady. He has a better legacy than Brady. Yes, Brady has five Super Bowls. He might be the greatest of all time. But as of right now in this universe, winning one game and being undefeated for the Cleveland Browns, you are the GOAT. Jimmy G is the GOAT, and we are on our way to the playoffs. The next episode will be tomorrow. We're going to be taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Should be a fantastic game. Jimmy G, you did your thing. I'm proud of you. Cleveland, stand up. You got yourself a quarterback. Until next time, hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace. Awesome. Check it. Uh. Every day we're getting it. Hey. Hey. Check it. Uh. Uh. Put the place up. Yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough of you, boo. I'm a chaser. Face up. Now I feel a little major. Blink of an eye. Ego, I'm a taker. Shaker. Yeah, she was a born shaker. She shake me out that door to no place. Damn, why you doing all that? Thought you was my wife, but you stabbed me in the back.